Oh my god. Oh, oh man. Oh my fucking fuck. Hello my friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Better Call Saul Day and we are watching season three, episode two, and this one is called Witness. Okay, so last episode left us with a huge cliffhanger. I hope in this episode we find out who has been watching Mike and keeping track on him. Um, we left with him leaving his house to follow the uh, tracking device that whoever has been watching him took. And so, fingers crossed, we find out who that is today. I guessed in the last episode it might be Gus. I don't know, you guys. I might freak out if it's Gus. Oh my god. Try not to get my hopes up, just in case it's not him. I mean, whatever they come up with, I'm sure will be amazing. Man, I just... I love Gus. I love him. All right. I don't want to wait any longer. I'm ready to hop into this episode. So please grab your drinks, my friends. Grab your coffee, your water, your tea, um, snacks if you're going to have snacks. And let's get into Witness. <laughs> I'm so excited to find out. I hope we find out. We better find out this episode. Okay, let's find out. Cheers. Starting with the teapot. Who is this? Oh, that's Chuck. Okay. chuck a -roo, roo I also need to know Chuck's plan. As um, Howard said, he really would have a hard time using that recording in court. And so, what is he going to do with it? Just blackmail Jimmy? I mean, Jimmy's smart too, so he would know that he would have a hard time using it in court. So I don't really, I don't know. And what is he doing? Oh wait, who's that? Who is that? Why do the cards have holes? I don't know who that them? is. Oh, they're uh, these are used cards from the casino. What is he doing? I hate to say it, but I think it might be time to kill the lights. Oh, yes, sir. Of course. What are you up to, Mr. Chuck? Hmm. Okay. That was a interesting cold open. He obviously has some sort of plan. Now, who is this? Hey, you take care of that battery? Coffee, coffee? Oh, uh, yeah, I finally shit the bed, but... Oh. Swapped it out a couple hours ago. Okay. So these are the people that are monitoring Mike. Alright. Stay awake. But I do not recognize any of them, so... I don't know. And there he is. I'm so curious and I really really hope we find out in this episode you know what though if we do it'll probably be like at the very end like the last frame of the sh of the episode they always do that to us no signal oh no I was gonna say he lost the signal um, where is it? Oh no, did he figure it out? Did he like throw it out the window or something? Hmm. Oh. Oh, I heard something. There they are. Is that the same overpass? Oh, 
wait, maybe not. I was gonna say, is that the same overpass that they meet in? Or that they, in Breaking Bad, that they meet under sometimes? Okay, Mike, you better go before you lose the signal. New person? Oh no. They're moving again. That is a cool shot, by the way. God, how many places is this person going? <laughs> And what are they doing? Picking up, I guess picking up things, but so many places. You guys, I just realized we're 10 minutes into this episode and it's literally just been Mike like following the guy, but But it feels like, you know, two minutes with the way that they do this show. Where is he? Is that Los Boyos? I thought the building looked like Los Boyos. Oh, so we left it there? Please tell me it's Los Boyos. Oh, maybe not. Oh my god! Hi! I fucking knew it! <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm gonna wake up my husband, he's taking a nap. Oh my god. You guys. I knew it! I saw the building and I'm like, that that looks like Los Poyos! I feel like I'm gonna cry. Breathe. I'm chill. I'm chill. Louis Pions! God. Okay, so they didn't make us wait. Thank you. So you're coming off of seven years at the MVP? Oh, excuse me. Yeah. Here's a question. How am I supposed to focus on what they're doing right now when they dropped that freaking bombshell on us? Wait, 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 I don't wait, know wait, if that wait. Answers the question, except to say yes. I was so caught up with right. freaking one, low spoils that the MVD. is that the chick that still works for him in Breaking Bad? You learn the most working there. Patience, diplomacy. I could be wrong, but it kind of looks like her. All sorts of people down there. Mm -hmm. You get your fair share of them. Oh, lots of elderly drivers. Oh my lordy. What do you say then? You ever? <sighs> Guys. Yell at them. I mean, geezers, right? How can you not? No, I'm... hold on. I have to pause for a minute. I just, I just, I was right. Just fucking right, guys. What the fuck? I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. I was hoping. I was so hoping it would be him, like he would show up in this in uh, Better Call Saul, but um, ah, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm just so excited. Oh my god! Please say that they actually show him in this episode. That would just be of the cream of the crop. Okay, I gotta calm down. Calm down. Focus on the show. No, I would never know. Nor should you. That was a trick question. You passed with flying colors. Very good. <laughs> Jimmy and I have very different needs. His practice is mostly wills for senior citizens. While <laughs> Did you 
see her face? <laughs> Wills for senior citizens. I'm looking for someone with an eye for organization and detail. Well, DMV's great for that. I mean, why leave the DMV or MVD? I have to imagine you'll be giving up a good benefits package. I just want to be somewhere I can make a difference. Well, that's us. We're all about making a difference. Hey, here's a question. Can you start today? <laughs> I can. Uh, yes. Fantastic. No, can you? Can... I think it is the same chick. Is that the bar here? Adequate? She's more than adequate. She worked at the DMV. That's like the fifth circle of hell. It is like the fifth circle of hell. If it doesn't work out. We can fire her. It's no big deal. Don't you think someone with some actual legal experience would be better? For a test run, please. I got a good feeling about this. <laughs> and if it's her, then she has stayed for a very long time. Offices of Jimmy McGill. How may I help you? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. May I put you on hold? What can I do for you? <laughs> what is Jimmy uh, doing? That's right. Folks, folks, folks. Say, is that a dog I'm hearing? <laughs> Oh my god. When would you like to come in and meet Mr. McGill? Jimmy. Jimmy. I'm sorry, but Jimmy is unavailable at the moment. If you'd like to leave a message, Mr. Ermin oh. Trout. <laughs> oh no. This one really doesn't want to <laughs> cracker barrel. Yeah, pass that one through. Uh. Hey. You know assistance will help up. <laughs> yeah, thanks for crushing your spirit on the uh. first day. You the only one on this line? Yeah, only me. What's up? You free for breakfast tomorrow? Alrighty, interesting. All right, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna go inside, buy a cup of coffee, a meal, whatever, and sit in the booth. Oh, here we go. I think. He'll take a knapsack and he'll go inside. I need you to keep an eye on the knapsack. Let me know what he does with it. Los Poyos. Oh, I can't believe it. Under Los Poyos Hermanos, may I take your order? Uh, I have a Poyos classic and a coffee. Black. Your total's 319. 319 for all that? That won't even get you a cup of coffee nowadays. But guess what you can get for $3, my friends? My Patreon. That's right. Starts at just three dollars, <laughs> like my son. And um, yeah, go check it out. Links below. This is so trippy. <laughs> Could you look any more suspicious, Jimmy? <laughs> Jimmy, act normal. He'll notice. Pouring sugar in the whole time. Stop staring, Jimmy. It's so obvious. Is that Gus? There he is. Oh my god. This is so crazy, you guys. Jimmy is just being so obvious. Stop 
staring. I'm not suspicious. If Gus noticed, what are you doing, Jimmy? <laughs> what is he doing? Can I help you? Oh, shit. Here he is. <laughs> uh, my watch uh, clasp uh, is loose. Allow me. Oh, my God, you guys. the heck is it? Oh, don't worry. If it's in here, I'll... Ah. There it is. Thank you. That was very nice of you. No problem. It's my pleasure. He came in like you said he would. He ordered the number three with <laughs> potatoes and coffee. Oh, boy. Knapsack on the floor. Where on the floor? Under his seat, between his legs. Very specific, Nobody Jimmy. Nobody touched it. Finished his meal in five minutes tops and skedaddle. Didn't leave anything behind. And you're sure of that? I literally checked the trash can. Uh, That's it? That's it. I mean, I cleared my morning. <laughs> Jimmy was having fun. Hey, who's got your back, huh? Me. That's who. Oh, Wendy's right there. That is not good. Oh, yeah, he knows. Gus knows everything. <laughs> Who is it? Oh, it's that guy. <laughs> I forgot his name, but yeah, it's that dude. Oh, it's a Mitsubishi. Is that an Evo? Oh, he's going to tell Jimmy. Hey, Ernie, what's up? Oh, he's so nervous. Oh, he's going to tell Kim. Okay. I'm not sure how to start. You can start by just telling me. I have some information, but I don't want to get in trouble. Trouble with Jimmy? With Chuck? I'm, I'm just worried about Jimmy. But if I tell him, I don't want to get in trouble, too. Tell Jimmy what? Is he gonna tell her? Next contestant on the price is right. Jimmy, uh, can I have a moment? Excuse me, sir. Hello, I can't Give me a dollar. Give you a dollar. Yeah, just <laughs> hand me a dollar, come on. I'm your lawyer now. If anyone asks me what I know, we have confidentiality. Why do we need confidentiality? Jimmy, what did you say to Chuck? Let me set the stage for you, oh God. okay? When I went to Chuck's place last week, it was like the inside of a Jiffy Pop wrapper, all right? There was Mylar on the... Jiffy Pop wrapper. He thought his brain wasn't working because oh of the Mesa Verde God. of it. And he played so you, Jimmy. I kind of told him that he was right. It doesn't matter what he says. It doesn't matter who he tells because it's my word against his. Jimmy, there's a tape. What? There is a tape recording of you talking to Chuck. He said Chuck has a tape recorder wrapped in a space blanket in his desk drawer. He taped mm -hmm. me. He made that tape for a reason, and we just have to figure out why. Uh, I wonder what Jimmy's gonna do. You went to him worried for his mental health. You said the things you did to make him feel better, which mitigates the admission of guilt at the very least. Oh. <laughs> Look how he's doing the rolling. Even failing that, it's probative value doesn't outweigh how the way that Chuck taught him. 
But Chuck has a plan for this tape. I don't know what it is. At this point, all we can do is wait for his move, then act accordingly. Kim, I'm good. How are you? I don't know if you are, Jimmy. Uh-oh. What is he gonna do? So like, okay, that's so weird, you guys. Even though I know what happens to Mike, I'm still nervous for him. It's like the weirdest thing. Because I'm like, oh my God, he's gonna get caught. You know, blah, blah, blah. But like, I know what happens to him already in the future. <laughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> So he's in the middle of nowhere again. Did they like bury it out there or something? Oh, but oh, it's gonna be Gus. Oh, it's a phone. Oh no. See, I knew it. Gus knew. Oh man, what's Howard doing? Oh, the hell? <laughs> what is he doing? Um, okay. <laughs> what is... Oh, it's that. Wait, what? It's that guy's house. What? Oh no, it's Chuck's house. Okay. Howard. Why didn't he want to park in the front? They're like meeting in secret now? What's up? Chuck. This has been going on for eight days now, and really no indication that it's going to work. It will work. Jimmy will most likely break in while he thinks I'm sleeping. I mean, oh. I wouldn't put anything past him. To steal the oh. tape under cover of darkness. You really think he's going to do that? I do indeed. I know so my I'm just brother. waiting for Jimmy to make his move. Here he is. <laughs> it's not the cover of darkness. Go Open away. the door! Open I'm it now! I swear to God! Oh, shit. <laughs> She left him. Okay, I thought she had died this whole time. <laughs> Where's the private investigator, go. dude? Here we go. Oh. Here we go. This is it. Oh, huh? man. For this, you destroyed our family? You have me now for what? You tell me or I'll burn this whole goddamn house to the ground. Jimmy. Jimmy. That's enough. Oh, shit. Howard, you were a witness to what happened here? I was. And you? I'm a witness. Oh, that's why it's called a witness. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Wow. Alrighty, my friends. That was the end of that episode. Oh man, what an episode. <laughs> wow. Wow. I think that might have been the most shocked slash excited I've been in an episode so far. Maybe. I think so. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> it'll be interesting to go back and, and see my actual face during this reaction. <laughs> Let's see that in an instant replay. Oh my god, I am so happy that Gus is finally in the picture. 
I was like, he has to come eventually because we obviously know that Jimmy meets him and Mike meets him and they form a bond, you know, they form a relationship. So I was wondering if they were going to show that in Better Call Saul. And so, oh my God, I'm so excited that they are. Oh my God. Oh my God. This show is just so good. Obviously with Mike, Gus knew, I mean, you could tell. Plus I, I knew, I already knew before he even did the whole face that like he knew what was going on. I knew when he was digging in the trash that he probably knew something was going on. Jimmy was so obvious. So, and also cause he's Gus and he like knows everything, right? So anyway, I bet you the person on the phone was Gus, obviously. I don't know what he's gonna say. Hopefully we'll find out next episode. But yeah, loving the Gus Mike storyline. Love it. I'm excited for more of that. Okay, so as for Jimmy, I still don't know what Chuck's going to do. I'm sure he made a copy of the tape, so I'm pretty sure he, Jimmy didn't destroy the tape. But like, yeah, they were witnesses to Jimmy coming in and yelling at his brother. So when Jimmy was yelling at Chuck, he admitted again, kind of, what he did, but he already admitted it on the tape, so... He's just admitting the same thing. And it's not like he struck his brother. I mean, I guess he did break down the door, so maybe they could get him for that? I don't know. I just don't know where they're going with this. Unless I'm just not thinking of something that's, like, obvious. I don't know. I don't know. I just... It's not making sense to me yet, like, what their plan is, I guess. So, there you go. Oh, Ernie. I am worried about Ernie. Because now Chuck knows that he told Jimmy, or he didn't tell Jimmy, but, you know, he knows that he spilled the beans. But I guess he was kind of already accounting for that anyway because of his plan that he had. Plus, in the last episode, remember I was like, wait, he smiled. Does he want him to tell Jimmy? Or he already knows in his head that he's going to tell Jimmy? So he was right. It did take him like a week to do it, but still. Makes sense now why that guy, or who that guy was, and why he was there all the time, and why Howard was going in the back way. I thought that was really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. I am just loving this show. I am definitely excited for the next episode. I can't wait. I think that's all I have for now. Thank you for watching with me, my friends. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so now if you enjoy watching with me and you enjoy the content I'm putting out. I really, really appreciate it and you will help me reach my goal of a thousand subscribers. So thank you so much my friends. Uh, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day or night and uh, thank you if you're watching this on Patreon and that's it. I will see you for the next episode my friends.